Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I cannot believe I did it. After several years of seeing this online, a lot of other YouTubers have this, I thought I will never purchase this Dyson hair dryer. I thought it is just such a gimmick because it is $399 and for some reason I went ahead and purchased it and I used it for the first time today and here is my hair for the first time and I won't say that I styled it absolutely perfectly because it was a little unwieldy getting used to a brand new blow dryer and new brushes and that kind of thing. But I do think that it did a good job and it seemed to go pretty quickly in terms of my styling. And the reason that I am trying this out and I will say I am ordering it and I am going to use it for about 15 days because I can take it back if I don't think it's wonderful. But so far I'm really surprised at how much I like it. And the reason that I went ahead and bit the bullet on this one, because this is crazy expensive, it is just unbelievable that somebody would spend $400 on a blow dryer. But the reason I did that is because as many of you who have followed my channel know, I have been having hair challenges. I've been getting thinning hair, especially up in the crown, and I've been using this Eye Restore hair helmet and it has been producing good results. And real quickly, for those of you who didn't see my three month results video, I'll go ahead and show you my results that I've had in three months and here they are. And there, as you can see in the before, my temples are really getting thin there. You can see a lot of bald patches on my temple area. And then three months later, actually this was 11 weeks later, as you can see, I'm getting in lots of fine little baby hairs that are starting to cover up that bald patch area. And I will say that I did go speak to my dermatologist and she said all those little fine baby hairs will actually become thicker, longer, stronger hairs over the coming months. So I'm really excited about that. But I'm trying to do everything possible to maximize my hair growth and really to take care of my hair. And I watched a couple of videos online, actually four or five, and almost everyone without exception totally raved about this. One girl, and I think she was from Dubai, and I'll try to link that video below if I can find it again. I watched her video twice, but she had used the Dyson dryer for, was it a couple of years? And anyway, her hair was beautiful. And she said that two years before when she started using this, she really had kind of fried, dried out hair, which is what I tend to have because I do, you know, use the blonde, which, you know, I don't know if it's bleach, peroxide, I don't know what they put in it, but it's something that is not very good for your hair. But after a couple of years of using this, her hair was in beautiful condition. She said it was the best condition of her life. And I realized that when you think about a hair appliance from a company like Dyson, which they are a very reputable company, and there's a lot of technology and science behind this for sure, this hair dryer should last for many years and $400 over the course of maybe five or six years isn't a whole lot to pay if it is really going to make a difference in my hair. And in just a few minutes, I'll show you styling my hair this morning for the first time with this Dyson dryer. But first, let me tell you a few details about this. And I did purchase this from Ulta. I'm in their rewards club. And so I thought, hey, the $400 could help me a little bit there. Here is the Dyson dryer. And I got it as part of a gift set. And I'll show you a look at that gift set. And it includes several different free things. They call it a limited edition gift set. But before I get into showing you styling my hair with this little dryer, I'll show you some details about it. First, it's very simple and sleek. It's absolutely a very, very interesting looking hair dryer. And it has the motor in the handle, which is really nice because I tend to have a shoulder issue, a lot of shoulder pain in my right shoulder. And I did notice that there's not weight up here. Most blow dryers are longer and bigger and the heavy motor is up here and that hurts a little more. And it's very lightweight because the weight is right here and your palm can just take that up and so your shoulder doesn't really bear the brunt of that. And that was very nice, very lightweight. And then it's very sleek looking. And one thing they did say online was that it was a little bit loud, so I'll let you hear that. This is the airflow setting. Let's see. At the highest, it is a little bit loud, although I have to say that didn't really bother me when I was styling my hair this morning. And here is the heat setting. And there are four different heat settings. Ooh, that feels rather hot there. I'll turn it down a little bit. And then you can also turn down the airflow. And, and then there's a cool shot right here, which totally takes away the heat. And that's very good at the end of your style when you want to just lock that in there. Let me turn this off because it is a little noisy. And it comes with several magnetic attachments, which I think are really neat. This one is called the Styling Concentrator. And see, it just clips in like that, just like a magnet. 
Very, very easy. And the styling concentrator is good just to get all of the moisture out of your hair. But then it's especially good when you start using your round brush, something like that. The next little nozzle is the smoothing nozzle. And again, it just clicks right on there. And that's a smaller nozzle. And that is really good when you want to hit your hair in a more directed fashion, like when you're pulling out little bits of your hair and you have the rest of it clipped up and you don't want the air to just push your hair every which way. This is a very good way to get concentrated styling. Then if you have curly hair or just like that beachy waves look, here is a diffuser. And that really just gives you that natural windblown look. Maybe you can crunch your curls a little bit, gets out the frizz, that kind of thing. I probably won't use that very much. And probably I will mostly use the styling concentrator because that is the general styling tool and I think it's easiest to use, which for me would be a good thing. And this has negative ion technology. A lot of blow dryers do, but apparently that helps cut the frizz. And it also has what Dyson calls intelligent heat control. And basically what that means is that there's a little computer in here. If you could take this off, you would see a little computer. And apparently 20 times every second, it is moderating that air temperature. And it is known to create shinier, smoother, more sleek hair. And really for me, this is a lot of shine. And I'm not particularly good at this yet. And I plan to use this over the next month or so. And then I'll report back and let you know what I think. But so far, I really do think it gives me shiny hair. And I did notice that my hair just feels very nice and soft. And that was something a lot of the other reviewers said. Also, on BuzzFeed, they allow reviewers to review products. And something like 97% of people said they would recommend this to a friend. And they also said that their drying time was reduced to between 5 and 10 minutes. So that is a really, really quick drying time. I didn't particularly notice that this morning, though, because I was shooting the video. But that is something over the next 30 days as I'm testing this, I will be really looking at drying time to see if it does cut that down because that is one way in which you could have less damaged hair is to just not expose it to these heating elements for quite so long. So if we can cut down the drying time, that would be very good for our hair. And so I'm really hoping that over the months of using this, that my hair condition will get much, much better. And by the way, I did totally buy this with my own money. It was painful, but you can tell that I really wanted it. And another thing I particularly liked about this particular Dyson set is it had a couple of free gifts. It had a 1.4 inch styling brush, very nice, and a detangler comb, which is great for wet hair. So I really can't believe that I spent $400 on this, but it was kind of my Christmas present, and I really hope that it will be really helpful in terms of improving the condition of my hair. Okay, I have rambled on enough about the Dyson dryer. Now let me show you my first styling session this morning. Okay, here is the big kahuna. I cannot believe I spent about $400 on a blow dryer. And this morning I told Alan, hey, after my shower, I'm going to be making a video about a blow dryer. And he said, is it new? And I said, yes, it is. And I said, it's an expensive one. And he had the good sense not to ask how much. But anyway, here it is. And I will have to say, unless this thing is wonderful, it is going back because this is a very significant purchase. Okay, let's go ahead and you turn it on with the little button here. Now that's interesting. It's not working. Why is it not working? Oh, okay, I'm back. I had a bad extension cord. How often does that happen? Oh well, okay, here we go. Now I'm going to turn it on. There's a little off on switch. And this is the temperature adjuster over here. I don't think you can see that, but I'm going to put it on the middle temperature, not the highest. And then here is the flow director. And see, it's a, it's a slight flow, slider, more. So I'll keep it on higher flow, but not as high on the temperature. I'll keep it on the middle on temperature. Okay, let's just get started. And we'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll turn it up just to uh, get it to go as fast as possible. Okay, I turned up the temperature. So far, I have to admit that I went ahead and turned it up to the highest temperature and also the highest airflow, and it does not feel as hot on my hair as my standard blow dryers that I usually use. So I think that is a really good thing because I would really like to save my hair. <laughs> Get back here in the mirror so I can really see what I'm doing. 
it really does feel like a softer temperature, not nearly so high. But yet it still feels like it has power, which is great. Now I'll get the back dry at the roots. Okay, I'll turn it off just for a moment so I can give you my thoughts real quickly if you could not hear me when I was talking when the blood dryer was on. Basically, so far I'm really liking it because even at the highest temperature and the highest rate of airflow, it basically doesn't feel nearly as hot as my normal blow dryer does, which I think is a real plus because I have been suffering from hair loss and I really want to be as easy on my hair as I can be. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to change the nozzle and the nozzles change really easily. They're magnetic. Well, I said they change easily. Oh, okay, I just did not pull hard enough. But this is the general nozzle. And then I'm going to go into the more specific styling nozzle. Ooh, see how magnetic that was? That just really clicks in and out quickly. And then it comes with a big diffuser, which if you have curly hair would be great. Okay, I'm going to section off my hair and then I'll come back and keep working with this. Actually, first, I'll just do the front bang. direction. Okay, now, turn that off for a minute. Now I'll go ahead and section off my hair. And I basically just section off the top, the little pink clippy. Okay, I've got a wild mess going here. Maybe I'll do a second section. Now, I'll just do the bottom portions. Turn it on again. It does feel like just a much softer temperature. Well, so far, so good. Maybe I'll turn the... Uh, airflow down one. It's a little awkward. I think I need to get used to it. But so far, I am liking this. I think I've got a little place back here. It feels wet. Let me get my flat brush. Try to get a little more style here. So far, so good. Now I'll bring down the next section. I like this nozzle. It really is nice to have that direction ability. I'm going to go ahead and get it with my flat brush. I'm much more comfortable with my flat brush. Okay, so far so good, and I think it is working faster than my normal blow dryer. So now, I'll just get the top portion, which is kind of frizzy. Let's see if we can straighten that out. I'm looking my mirror over here. I use my mirror over here. So far, so good. Now let me try to get up here on the top of my hair. Let go of that front. There we 
There we go. Let me get a little bit on the top, back. Still feels just a tad bit wet back there. But I think it really did style my hair faster. Although normally I just use a flat brush because I don't really try to go for this bend in my hair. But I figured I've got a better styling tool. Maybe I can get a better style. Pretty little bubble back there. Well, that is my blow dryer. And at this point I go in with a flat iron and just kind of get the kinks out. But I really do think that my hair looks a little shinier at this point, which is unusual because I have frizzy hair. And I really do feel like it was gentler on my hair, much gentler. And to me, that may be worth the higher price because I do have long hair. And as we get older, everything gets drier. And I really just need something that's going to be as gentle on my longer hair as possible. You know, really, that is a lot of shine. I am not used to shine at this point in the styling process. Usually I have to go flat iron before I get any shine at all. My initial impression is that this is a really great blow dryer and that over time my hair should end up in much better shape. And I have to tell you, for spending this kind of money for me to keep it, you've got to know that I am telling you the honest truth because this sucker is expensive. Well, this is the finished style I was able to create with the Dyson. And I will not say that it's important to look at this style because I was very awkward in doing it and I'm not used to using the round brush so much. And so I definitely need more practice there. It's kind of an accident that it turned out okay. But what I really like about it is I think my hair is shinier. And that is what the Dyson people say, that it gives you shinier hair and that it gives you healthier hair because the temperature is less and even the amount of blowing, I think, the, the, the stress of the blowing in your hair seems to be a little bit less. If I had one word to say about the Dyson, I would say the whole experience was just softer than my normal Revlon blow dryer. And I love my Revlon blow dryer and it's like $45, but it feels harsh in comparison with the Dyson. And as I mentioned before, if I did not like this a whole lot, it was going to go back because spending $3.99 on a blow dryer is not something that I had in my plans at all. And I guess the longer you are on YouTube, the more you buy those things YouTubers buy. And in this case, I think they're buying it because it is really, really good. I mean, look at that shine. For me, who has overprocessed blonde frizzy hair, even getting that little amount of shine on my hair is quite unusual. So anyway, I am going to keep that blow dryer and I will let you know in future videos if it becomes a fave or a fail, but at this point, I think it's going to be a fave. Okay, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in learning about all things anti-aging in terms of us more mature beauties, then I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell and or share this video with a friend. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. And I have a personal situation that's going on in one of my family members' lives, and I hope I get a card that kind of addresses that. Let's see. Okay, here we go. I can think my way out of fear. I can think my way out of fear. You know, I don't think this really pertains to my family members' difficulty, but this is so true. Sometimes fear can just get us by the throat. It just grips us and we're like, oh my gosh, no. if this happens, then that might happen, that might happen, that might happen. And really, for the most part, all of those things that we fear generally do not come to pass. And I was reminded of this this past week at work because one of our biggest clients sent us an email and one of our providers, we have a national network of chiropractors, one of our providers had given us a very bad complaint and it was like, oh my gosh, this is awful, this is terrible. You know, the client's not gonna like us, we're gonna end up losing this client. My mind went everywhere. And then I thought, no, let's think about this. You know, let's think about what that provider said and let's think about the measures we can take to make that provider more happy and so I ended up making a little list. I reached out to the provider and I said, hey, you don't need to participate in the business that you don't want. You can keep the good business that you like with us. And really the provider became very happy. And when I shared that with my client, the client again said, great job, Beth. You're always here when things look a little difficult. And that was just because in that case, I didn't let fear grip me. 
I slowed down, I thought about it, and I did what my mind said was right to do, and all came out well. So friends, just for today, let's remember, if you get into a fearful situation, slow down, stop, and think. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.